Hey guys, welcome to my new YouTube series where I'm going to explain to fitness professionals how to do the tech side of things. So like starting your first podcast, uploading, getting it hosted, doing videos for YouTube, exercise tutorials, all of that, the behind the scenes, what I do, and how you can make your business better by having good online presence. If you have a Mac, this is how you're gonna use your computer to be able to show people, maybe you have clients so you wanna show how to like go through an exercise program or use your website or maybe um, a great example is like some of the diet software. I know I outsource mine because I'm not a dietitian, and it's kinda of hard to navigate so you could put a tutorial up on your website pretty quickly if you utilize this. So very simple, I'm using it right now um, but I'm gonna show you how it works. So if you go up to the screen here, you can see uh, that's actually going to Finder, but if I went into QuickTime, so if I click on this video, QuickTime Player, um, you have a couple options in File. So the one that I'm using right now, it's actually two of them, but one of them is New Screen Recording. So what that's doing is basically recording the screen. So that's all this that's going on right now. What you're watching is a screen recording. The other one is a new movie recording. That's how we get this. So if you're looking at this here, you're getting that from the new movie recording. So first you set up the new movie recording and it's gonna show up with this screen, you size it. Um, and then the other thing that I learned in the tutorial, it's very important because if I were to want to use my browser, which you're probably looking at my screen like, man, he's got a shit ton of stuff on his desktop. I do, and in my browser I have tons of tabs. This is the video I just watched. Thank you, uh, Last Verdict, for that. Um, but if you want it to stay in front of what you're doing, you actually have to do another thing in QuickTime. So you go to view and you want to put float on top. So that option is allowing me to keep my face in front of whatever I'm doing on, you know, like let's say I was using the website, um, a dietitian website, I want it to be behind my, my screen so it doesn't get covered up constantly. That'd be a pain in the ass and it'd be annoying for the person trying to watch. Um, so then once that's done, what you would do again with QuickTime is file uh, new screen recording. So it's recording what I'm doing on my screen. It's recording the audio from these headphones and then that's going to go um, and record it that way. Um, and I can't stop it right now because I'm actually using it but then once it's recorded you can export your QuickTime uh, player file and use it on your website or whatever. I'll go into more tutorials on that later. Um, the goal was, <coughs> sorry I have a cold, to show you kind of how to do that quickly and also kind of talk about what I'm doing with this whole new video series. So if you have any questions, you're a fitness professional, you don't know where to start, keep watching for videos. I'm going to try to get as many up as possible. And then uh, leave a comment down below. Like, subscribe. Hopefully this video, you know, helps you in some way. And just let me know if there's more that you need. All right, peace.